but you know there's a new app out it's called snapchat it's popular with teens it's popular with my friends it allows them to send pictures which will disappear within seconds so they say should you trust it and how do you stay in front of your kids when it comes to apps and technology in general joining me this morning is melissa wittenbaum of cincinnati parent magazine you're also a mother yes so how do you how do you stay ahead of your kids well, I stay ahead of my kids by being aware of what's going on, Okay. especially with social media. Okay, let's start with Snapchat, which is so popular, especially with the kids these days. What were you able to find out about that? So, well, Snapchat is an app that the kids can get, and it basically just takes a picture instantaneously, and then you can decide how long you want the picture to stay on your phone or sure. be sent to the recipient, and then it's deleted immediately. But should you trust it, though? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think you can trust it. Right. The kids think they can trust it, but in reality, they can't. Well, how, so, so this is this is the thing. Number one, when you think it's going to disappear, it makes you more maverick, don't you think? It, yeah, yes, it does. It does. But what they don't know is that everything is saved. When something's put out on social media, when anything's even written down, it's out there. The thing is, is like we've all done dumb things, right? Especially when we were teenagers. Mm -hmm. However, in this day and age, there's a record of everything you do, and that could come and bite you on the butt later on in your life. How do you tell your kids it's important what you put out there, because it's permanently out there these days? It's permanently out there, and what we're finding uh -huh. is that colleges, job, you know, when you're applying for a job, yeah. it comes back. Right. And they'll see something that someone put on Twitter, on Facebook, now yeah. on Snapchat, Instagram is another one. Right. And they see that, and it's it, it's a flag to them. Sure. Um, and so these kids are, you know, they, they think that they're invincible and they can do it all, and nothing's going to affect them. What do you want to say to the parents out there this morning who are watching? Well, I feel that parents' judgment call is based on their relationship with their children. Right. And you have to talk to your kids. Yeah build that relationship so that you don't have to do these things to monitor them. Well, I'll tell you what, how do you do that, though, as a parent, in terms of, I have so many things going on right now, you work at Cincinnati Parent Magazine, your kids are trying to talk to you, how do you make sure you do that on a daily basis? Well, I just think, like I said, the relationship, yeah. and reinforcing to them that you have to make good choices in life, right. because if you don't make good choices, there are consequences, and anything put out on social media, anything in writing can be a problem if it's not positive. And the last thing is, I would assume like your mindset has to be like a teenager in terms of trying to take in everything that's out there for your teenager to use, correct? It, correct, correct. And um, I don't even think it's just with teenagers. Yeah, sure. I've seen this with, you know, spouses. Yeah. Where they're finding these these apps where they can, you know, yeah. catch them in, a, in an act exactly. that maybe isn't right. Um, so I think it's just with life. I think that... Um, you have to, you know, just have good communication. Absolutely. Um, raise your kids the best you can, yeah. but it does start at home. All right. Uh, Melissa Wittenbaum of Cincinnati Parent Magazine. We thank you very much. You're looking at the current issue right there mm -hmm. on newsstands right now. Melissa, all the best to you. Have a good weekend. Thank you. You too. All right. Uh,